we are going to graph today. So remember our y equals mx plus b. We are going to use that to write the equation and then graph. So let's start off um, on this side. So y equals mx plus b. So we can write y equals 2x plus 1. We have the equation. Now we can graph. You always start graphing by plotting this y-intercept first. Because we know for sure there's that point. That point is at 1 on the y-axis. So we have one point for our graph. And then we are going to do our slope. So our slope is 2. So we are going to rise 2, but we don't have a denominator. So we need to run. We wouldn't run 0 because that wouldn't be 2. But if we run 1, then that will work. So from here, from this point, I'm going to rise 2. So 1, 2, run 1. I kind of showed it. So look again, rise two, run one. And I can keep on doing that to get several dots to make my line. So rise two, run one. And if I want more dots, I can go back down to my last dot. And instead of rise two, run one, I'm going to go down two and left one. Down two and left one. So I'm doing the opposite. Instead of up and right, I'm going down and left. Same thing, Same thing exactly. So now I have many points. I have what, six? So then I connect them to make my line. Okay, let's go over to this one. Slope or y-intercept is zero. In this case, we have the slope is zero. So that means I'm going to have y equals 0x, then plus the b, which in this case is going to be just minus 4. But I can take off the 0x and just have y equals negative 4. So if we look back at our notes, if it says y equals a number, it's going to be a horizontal line. And it's going to be on the y-intercept. So a horizontal line on the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is a negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And zero slope, meaning it doesn't uh, go up or down at all. It just goes straight. Remember, slope dude, zero fun. He's walking in his snowshoes or in his skis. Put arrows on the end. Okay, let's look at what if we have it in this form and we want to graph it. it. We don't know what our slope is. We don't know what our y-intercept is. So up here it tells us rearranging the form. So we need to rearrange this so it does say y equals. So I'm going to put over to the side solve 
or y. We did this when we were solving equations. There were the literal equations where we found what y equals or what x equals. We rearranged the formula. Okay, so let's solve for y. So I have 2x plus y equals 3. So I need to get y by itself. So that means I need to move this 2x to the other side. How do I move it to the other side? Subtract 2x. So on the left side, it cancels. And we have y equals, I wanted to say mx plus b. Can I combine those two? No, so which one should I put first if I want mx plus b? Negative 2x. Yeah, so negative 2x plus 3. So now that I have this, I can graph it. What do I graph first? The y-intercept, the b. So I need to go on the y-axis and put a dot at 3. Then it says negative 2. So what is my slope? Negative 2, but there's nothing on the bottom, so the denominator has to be 1. Negative 2 over 1. So that means we're going to go down 2 and over 1. Do it again. Down 2, 1, 2, over 1. Down 2, over 1. Down 2, over 1. Then if I want the other point that's up here, I would go, instead of down and right, I'm going to go up and left. And see how it's all in line? If it's a linear function, linear equation, it should all be in a line. Now connect your dots to make that line. Okay, let's look at the graph, given the graph. So in order to write y equals mx plus b, we need to know the y-intercept first. So let's look and see, where does it cross the y-axis? At 2. Is it a positive 2? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to put plus 2 underneath the y equals mx plus b. And then we need to count, well, we need to find another point. What about up one over two? Did you do that again? Up one over two. So up one. So rise one, run two. And it's a positive slope because it's going uphill. So rise one. Run two. If I go to any other two points, let's say I go from this point to this point, it should have the same slope. So rise one, run two. So that means your slope is one over two x. And we need to put y equals out for it. Okay, so let's look inside, see if there's anything too crazy. Let's look at this one right here. If m equals negative 2, but b equals 0. Okay, so our y-intercept is 0. 
So it's going to cross through the graph at zero. And then our slope is negative two over one. So that means I'm going to rise negative two, run one. If I'm rising a negative number, what does that mean I'm actually doing? Going down one, two, and right one. So we can do that again. Rise two, go down two, over one. And then go the other way. Up two, over one. Up two, over one. So it's all a stair step. They should all be in line. And let's write our equation. Y equals mx plus b. This would be y equals m negative 2 x plus 0. But could I leave that off? Y equals negative 2 x. Okay, let's go to the next one. M equals zero, B equals three. Go ahead and graph that one. If you need to, look back at page 43 in your notes. So the y-intercept is at 3, so we're going to put a dot at 3. Zero slope means it is poi. Horizontal line, zero slope. So what's the equation? Y three. Just y equals three, yeah. And then zero slope just means a horizontal line. Okay, the other ones, go ahead and graph both of these. Write the equation and graph them. The two top ones. M equals half, B equals negative three. So you graph the y-intercept first, and then count rise over run. Okay, so you'll graph the negative three and count rise over run. Rise one, run two. 
Rise one, run two. Rise one, run two. And then go down one, left two. How's your graph look compared to mine? Did I do it right? <clears throat> I hope. And then what's the equation? Mx plus b? Plus a negative 3 or just minus 3. And we can also use our calculator to check this. But I don't want y'all to use your calculator to graph it. Um, check it. Uh, first, graph it on your paper, and then you can graph it in your calculator. All right, the next one. Negative 3 fourths is your slope, and B equals 2. So our equation is Y equals MX plus B. Negative 3 over 4X plus 2. So our y-intercept is at 2, so go up to 2. And then slope is negative 3 over 4. So that means down 3, because we're rising, but we're going down. So down 3, we always go right for when we first do it. So down 3, so 1, 2, 3, over 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we could go the other way. Go up three, left four. So you see how I'm switching these directions? And it they should all be in alignment. So up three, one, two, three, over one, two, three, four. Okay, these two, this one says rearranging the form. If you're ready for this one, go ahead and raise your hand. Okay, so let's go ahead and we need to rearrange it. So we need to get Y by itself. So what is keeping Y from being by itself? No, the 2x first. We need to move the 2x first. So we're going to subtract 2x on both sides. And this is 3y equals, remember how I wanted mx plus b? Negative 2x plus 6. Divide by 3. Everything has to be divided by 3. So that becomes 1, so it's just y equals, we can keep this as a fraction, negative 2 over 3x, and then plus 6 over 3. What is 6 divided by 3? Plus 2. So now we can graph it by doing our y-intercept first. So go up to 2 for your y-intercept, because b equals 2, and our slope equals negative 2 over 3. So if it's negative 2 over 3, that means rise to run 3. So down 2, right 3. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So I have those two points, and if I try to do it again, one, two, one, two, oh, it's going to be off the grid. So I'm not going to do that one. But I can go the opposite of down, which is up, one, two. The opposite of right, which is left, one, two, three. And so that gives me three points.
Okay, so the last three problems you'll finish on your own. With your, uh, go ahead and do it on your own. And then you'll have an assignment to do.